What is up everybody? Sfeinson here back with another MLB 9 Innings video. Obviously the hot topic for this week is the latest update. Let's go over to the patch notes. I can read them out for you if you haven't taken a look. Maybe you haven't heard, but I wager if you're here watching my video, you probably have. So we are talking about the Black Diamond update. There are new Black Diamond player cards available. You can't draw these. You can only upgrade your current Black Diamond or your current Diamond cards to a Black Diamond. Um, so you can't draw these out of any packs. They don't right now have any, you know, Black Diamond packs. They just have, um, do they just have the upgrade cards? Now you upgrade these with experience and you can get experience a couple different ways some of it is black diamond uh training xp and here if we pop out of these patch notes real quick i can show you what that looks like i have it in here somewhere there we go black diamond pieces so yeah if you uh if you want to you can use some of these black diamond pieces and they're worth like 100 xp each Let's see what you can also use a gold or diamond of the exact same card. Now, when it says the exact same card, it means, um, say you have a a vintage, you'll need exact diamond or gold vintages to upgrade from a normal diamond to a to a black diamond, right? You need primes to increase primes. You can't use your gold Max Scherzer to increase your Max Scherzer prime card. If you now for some of these cards, it's like you only need one or two of them, right? If you have a signature or a legend, and you have two more of those, and they have to be the same grade, I believe it has to be two diamond signatures or eight gold signatures. Um, so if I wanted to increase my uh, Jack Flaherty from from diamond to black diamond, I would either need, the way that this experience works out, 160 black diamond XP pieces, or eight, go eight gold signature Jack Flaherty's, or four diamond, uh, or two diamond Jack Flaherty's. For prime, you need 15 golds, or four diamond cards, or 120 pieces. For regular, you only need 60 pieces or um, 100 gold cards or 25 diamond cards. And so the way it looks like this is working is it it's easier to upgrade your uh, regular cards to black diamond if you're using pieces than it is to upgrade your signatures or legends. So this update kind of feels like it was tailored toward the people who pay money because you can buy an upgrade from diamond to black diamond um but if you just have a bunch of regular cards it's easier to get those diamond xp pieces for your regular cards from free to play that's the other thing about them is they are accessible through master mode um i'm only playing in 2021 and i've gotten two or three of them so they're definitely available through master mode but they're not a super high drop rate it probably would take you a while to get a regular card to a black diamond um and there are already a couple out there online if you go to the mlb nine inning subreddit you can see some people have already taken their cards to black diamond so yeah so that's that's what they are um now what effects do they give so that's how you get them what effects do they give there's a, an example of the black diamond piece black diamond change ticket so one thing about the, I don't know if it covers it in the patch notes, but um, one of the things about the Black Diamond is you can now go up to 10 levels of special training instead of just 8. This is going to give you, for level 9, it's going to give you an upgrade like level 8 did where you get plus 2 to your top 3 stats. Great. That's an extra plus 1 overall. That's really solid. And then at level uh 10 you get a another skill upgrade for one of your diamond skills now i'm not sure what skills are best to take to level eight now 
you know, before you could only go up to level 7 and they'd be diamond. I don't know what skills are best to take to level 8, but, um, yeah, it's really, really cool that you can take some up there. I would assume that something like Last Boss would be good, uh, Charisma would be good. You know, we're just going to have to wait till the top teams get a bunch of these and trickle that information back down to us. You also get things called legend skills. Now, you have to re-roll skill sets to get these once you take them to Black Diamond. They can only be acquired with the premium skill change ticket. Uh, the effects of the legend skills will be upgraded when they appeared from legend cards, and only one legend skill will appear per player skill slot. Another important note that we'll get to later about this is skill slots are also new so it was a big update and it feels like they're kind of dropping a lot of content all at once um i don't know what the deal is with that it kind of feels like the game's changing really quickly but hey that's fine i'm, I'm enjoying it all so far so these are the new pitcher skills uh pitcher's insight you know i'm not going to read all these off to you at first glance, um, Control Master seems pretty good, and if you could have like Control Master paired with uh, Finesse Pitcher or Fireballer paired with Dominant Pitcher, those both seem like super good skills uh, because they decrease the other player's power, right? And you can see with this, Com2 knows the meta. They know that power is the ideal skill here because both of these decrease power, right? Um, I don't love slow starter and it increases your stamina which isn't ideal it feels like you just want control master or fireballer instead now it increases your location and velocity which are both very good according to the number of pitches so that that might pair good with like an inning eater right you induce more so soft contact you get higher low and vel as you go deeper into game bullpen day is increases low vel fastball break seems interesting cooperative pitching seems interesting now pitchers chemistry and batter has a similar one pitcher and batters chemistry it almost seems like you'll want at least one pitcher with these because it increases all the stats and pitch accuracy for all pitchers when you register on the lineup so if you have one guy with pitcher chemistry it makes all of your pitchers better which um seems pretty strong unless it's like ace where it doesn't actually do anything for them batters uh pretty similar batters insights kind of like a, a charisma situation it doesn't apply to pitchers insight and pitchers insight doesn't apply to batters insight interesting contact match master seems like batting machine but maybe a little bit better uh bad ball hitter you know and pioneer are kind of similar to some of these ones up here So, uh, sorry about the notification up top. I'm in the middle of a dynasty fantasy football draft. Uh, football season, uh, the rookie draft just happened, so we're now doing our dynasty draft. So, anyway, these batter skills are all pretty solid. Um, we definitely have to wait, though, for the top teams to start coming out and seeing what works best at the high levels before I can tell you what really makes a difference. Because at the end of the day, under the hood... A lot of these skills are different you know we found out that dominant and finesse pitcher it took a while but we figured out that they're a lot better once you got the right training for them um so it might be similar for some of these you know they may look good at first glance but they just aren't later so next up skill storage one of my favorite parts and we're gonna do some skill storage today so instead of just having one skill set you get Two, you can pay 500 stars on a card and you get a second set of skills and you can re-roll either set of skills to try to find a new set. Um, so that, for example, on my Lance Lynn, I have Untouchable, Cleaning Up Your Mess, and Fixer, which is a really solid set. But if I could get Last Boss, uh, Last Boss, Untouchable, Dominant, you know, that might be an even better set, right? So I'm going to, on Lance Lynn, leave him with his fixer, untouchable, cleaning up your mess. And then I'm going to buy a skill slot with stars. And I'm going to reroll some skills there to see if I can't beat my other one. If I can't, I just switch back to that first skill set. You'll see how it all works. So that's pretty sick. Um, and then there's a new special shop. I really like that. 
uh, it just puts all your special shop in one place. You can spend your mileage, your friendship points, the ranked coins, clutch hits, club, all in one place. Super convenient, so I don't have to click everywhere to go to a new shop. Uh, yeah, and there's not too much else. Oh, also you can cut club craft premium skill change tickets, which isn't as important with um with the skill storage, but oh that's not club craft. But you need to use one of these. Uh, man, my phone's going slow today. Club crafting. Here we can see. Premium skill change ticket takes three skill changes and 300 club coins to to craft. You need it for legend skills if you end up getting a legendary, uh, or if you end up getting a black diamond. So I'm not gonna upgrade to black diamond today. I'm not gonna purchase that pass. Let me, where's it at? Somewhere in here, I haven't actually checked these today. There it is, diamond set S achievement package. Okay, so first off, I can't, purchase it right now it's not open but on top of that it's a hundred dollars for just what seems like a pretty small upgrade overall like black diamond seems like really perfecting your card and i have a lot of ways to go before i want to start skill training skill chaining uh or special training jack flaherty again so you know he'd probably be the one i use it on or matt carpenter you know i have a lot of guys to special train so that being said, let's uh, get into let's get into this new skill slots. So let's go here. So you can see I can change skill storage, add skill storage. The skill in storage number two will be randomly selected when you change for the first time. It's uh, power up reset will proceed based on the set of storage. So. That's what's stored. Now I can change. And this is, see, this is still in slot number one, so I can leave this up whenever I want. Right? But I can go change. And now this is my set when I go into training, but I can change this set as much as I want and leave this set for when I want to be in ranked or in club. Right? So that's super useful. Also, uh, I don't know if I told you guys, I retrained Lance Lynn, got a really solid train on him. That's uh, plus 30 over to the left side, only plus six stamina. Really couldn't ask for much of a better train. Uh, he doesn't meet any of the criteria for either Dom or Finesse Pitcher. He is closer to a dominant pitcher set, right? Because he has plus six on the Vel and plus two on the fastball over break, so... Um, if I get Dom or Finn when I do the skill storage changes, I will uh, kind of be kind of be out of luck. I'll have to retrain him again, but that's fine. Also, I got this card from a daily pack. This is a Corey Kluber 2017 base 77 prime card. I was opening up a daily pack and I got this Corey Kluber. And here's what I'm thinking with Corey Kluber. I'm thinking once I have the chance, I put him in my lineup. Look at his basic stats. Plus 7 location, plus 10 velocity, and plus 10 breaking ball over KK. I mean, he's just a straight up much better card even after you apply the team set stuff, right? Like, he still has better location, or he has similar location after the team set stuff. The same velocity, right? I mean... I'm probably going to take this Kluber to 20 and replace KK. Uh, he might be my fifth pitcher. That's just such a good card. It's so solid. So, that's fun. I got it from, you know, because currently I'm training up like this Granderson because, I mean, he has Slugger Instinct Charisma. He's a pretty solid card overall. Base 73, good power. Um... This Kluber, man, I think that it will max out just slightly higher than this KK Kim will. Especially because he gets the Prime bonus as well. Like, KK gets the Team Set bonus from Mentor. Kluber gets the the uh, Prime bonus from Mentor. So, it's solid. That's super sick. So, yeah. 
exciting. All right, with all that being said, let us also, do not want to purchase anything in the mileage shop right now. Although I might be pretty close to a team select diamond pack. We might do that next week, or not a team select diamond, and to a sig pack, mileage sig. So let's start opening. Where should we start? Intermediate vintage player pack. I don't have as many packs this week. Um, I was just kind of busy. Didn't have as much time to farm, unfortunately. You know, I used to have a Diamond Outlighter card. Also, Outlighter's son, Jack Lighter, is tearing it up at Vanderbilt right now. I don't know if you guys pay attention to college ball. That guy is insane, and he's probably going to get drafted like top two. He's crazy, Jack Lighter is. Like, if your team has a high pick, you might be seeing Jack Lighter. If you're a Pirates fan or if you're a Detroit fan. That's exciting. Next up. Ooh, Diamond out of a premium. We'll toss it out into special training Yachty Molina unless it's useful. Victor Robles. It's not a very good card. All right, let's see if there's anything good here. Solid J.D. Martinez. Don't need it for anything, but it's solid. Uh, live season premium player pack. As always, been looking out for a Nolan Arenado. Still don't have one. Premium pitcher pack. I could really use some Giovanni Gallegos. Because he is still level 18 or level 16. I could use upgrade tickets on him, but I really don't want to. You know? I want to save those for vintages and legends and people who are out of the game. St. Louis. Maybe I'll get a diamond. I haven't got one in a while. Nope. Maybe a prime. Nope. Just a silver. Randall Grichuk. This card is... Pretty significantly worse than the the current year I have for him. So, gold player pack. You know, I just get a lot less packs now that I'm uh, farming master mode, which is fine. You know, I don't need them, but it kind of makes worse content for you guys. So I'm sorry about that. I gotta figure something out for you all. Oh, got a diamond. Nice. Panic 2015. I'm sorry. How did this guy bat 312 and he's only a base 68? I don't think he's a bad defender either. I don't understand this game sometimes if I'm being real. All right. And then I'm going to open this diamond pack. Like I said before, I don't have much need for... Uh, Team select diamonds right now, so might as well just get this for the special training material. Mitch Moreland, 2016. Yeah, somewhat decent batter. Would work in a pinch. Don't have any more of those, so let's go special train up Yachty. See if we can't finish him. I also finished training up Jed Jerko. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he's going to be next on the special training block. Um, plus 14 total to the right. That's fine. You can do better right now with uh, amp tickets. You can do... Uh, I'm usually trying to aim for 12 or below, but he's not going to be changed for a while. Might as well get him special trained up and work with that. Um, definitely a big fan of his, of his stats, though. If you compare him to my old trained up Colton Wong. These are my two second basemen. Like, look at all that power. 23 more. He has more eye and just one less contact, and they're both at level 20. Obviously, Colton Wong is better speed and fielding, but this game doesn't value that. So, uh, yeah. But we aren't here for him. We're here for Yachty. Diamonds, golds, silvers. Oh, my. Uh, nothing here I need to keep. Maybe I could have kept that Muncie. I have a Muncie card waiting in the wings just in case I decide to increase it one day. Not going to keep that Cabrera. I think his uh, 
His card is eight. I don't think it's great um, for 20. Oh, wait, I have a 2018 DeGrom. I should have should have used that for an upgrade material. And we'll throw these guys in there as well. Any items? Nope. <laughs> All right. And now, you know what? Let's go. Let's go craft one of these premium packs. Nope, not club battle. Club crafting. Premium skill change ticket. Craft. Again, they aren't as useful now that you can just use 500 stars and get like spare um, spare sets. So because of that, I'm going to use this on a guy who doesn't have a spare set. Uh, see if I can't get an improved set and if I um, if I can't get an improved set I'll just use my two leftover skill changes on Lancelin side set so uh, don't want to use on Paul DeYoung Carlos Martinez's are pretty good don't need to increase Flaherty don't want to touch the bullpen I'm tired of skilling bullpen it's not as fun uh, Matt Carpenter has good skills, so it could be better. Jerko is fine. Pujols I'm going to replace with that Prime eventually. Jim Edmonds has Barrel It Up, Slugger Instinct, and what else? Batting Machine, yeah, we don't want to replace that. That skill set's too good. Wish I could take Batting Machine a couple levels up, but uh, that skill set's pretty good. Uh, let's do Matt Carpenter honestly with this like I'd rather keep BM Slugger Laser Beam but like what if I get something better and he went with eight nope that's not better we keep skills keep the skills keep the previous skills yep all right, now let's go use these skill changes on uh, oh, he's in my league lineup. Okay, first off, I will need to skill change Corey Kluber. Pitching Machine cleaning up your mess is pretty good. Um, it could be better, though. The thing about Pitching Machine is I think it works really well if you have, like, a really perfect train. And cleaning up your mess is pretty solid. Um, it's kind of a requirement. So I'm going to take a while to train him up. I haven't been getting many Kluber cards out of packs because I haven't been getting as many packs. Maybe I'll break and just blow five uh, player upgrade tickets on him. Who knows? Don't get as many of those now that I'm not farming either. But maybe I'll wait until after all I have right now that I need to special train. Okay. So you see how this has these ready for skill changing? I don't want to do that. So now if I go back, I go team management, and I go to lineup, pitcher, select this guy, change skill storage, change to slot number two. Huh? Okay. Now I can go back to my skill change tickets, select Lance Lynn. And see, now I'm changing that set. Garbage. Garbage. Well, it's fine. It's not great. Firefighter's useless. It's actually garbage. I shouldn't lie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would never lie to you. Y'all are my friends. All right. So now we're going to go change skill storage, change it back to my good set. Touch mess. All right. Well, there you guys have it. That's my video for tonight. Thanks for watching. You know, if you like what I'm putting out, um, be sure to leave a like below. If you have any comments about how you feel about the new update, I would love to hear them. You know, I've heard that uh, over in the Korean server that they are petitioning for it to get changed back. I personally don't get it. Really, in my mind, com to us gave us a way to make our best cards even better. 
And I guess the frustration is that people were closing in on having a perfect deck. But in my opinion, a lot of those teams, like recently there have been some other YouTubers who have stopped putting out as many MLB 9 Innings videos and stopped spending as much money because they hit the top. You know, they were some of the best teams in the world, and there wasn't anywhere else to go. They sold their teams, they started new ones that were free to play, and they just moved on. They went to a new challenge. Black Diamond, obviously it's a cash grab, right? You can get these Black Diamond upgrade tickets for 100 bucks. You know, is it better to spend 100 bucks on your Black Diamond upgrade rather than a SIG card? For 99% of people, no. For a team who has 25 signatures, maybe, right? That makes them even better. So it's obviously a bit of a cash grab, but since I can still get my Jack Flaherty to Black Diamond, um, even though, you know, in, even though I'm not going to pay for that, even though I'm free to play, well, I'm not, but but I'm not going to play for the pay for the Black Diamond, right? Even though I I'm not going to do that, I can still get Black or Jack Flaherty to that Black Diamond, you know. So I think that's pretty cool, right? There's options for us free to play players. There's options, and I say us, it's not us. It's there's options for free to play. There's options for paid players. It's just if you don't like it, you probably do, doesn't affect you anyway. The people you're playing into don't have Black Diamonds, you know. So. That's just my quick opinions on it. Uh, new legend skills are cool. The cards look cool. Makes my cool cards even cooler. So you guys let me know what you think. I would love to hear it. Um, yeah, so leave a comment below. And if you like what I put, I'm put, i putting out, be sure to subscribe. I will talk to you guys next Monday.